Alrighty folks, so this is to help a lot of Plymouth owners out there that's got 57 or 58 Plymouths here and you're trying to uh, figure out your hood latch, like if you're missing it or if something is broke on it or whatever the case may be. But this is to help some folks out there and what we have here is a 57 Plymouth hood. A 58 hood is the same thing, ain't no difference there. But I'm going to show you, the viewer, how to make sure you got the correct hood latch. Okay, so if we look at mine here, mine was completely missing. When I got this hood, it was taken off. And then, you know, honestly, if you look back at my videos, I won't get into it too much. But it was taken off and it was sold and, you know, blah, 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 blah. But anyway, mine is missing. That's the point. And I also want to point out as well, and I want to thank belvedere 58 i like to thank him but i didn't notice this until i looked at one of his cars and we have five holes right here we have one right there then we come along we got the second one third one fourth one fifth one that's actually the brace for the hood that's where your hood latch mounts also but i did not realize there's a piece of rubber right here that is missing on mine as well. So it's supposed to be a piece of rubber on that brace right there. Now, it does have it on the back. It has what remains of it. It's mostly there. I'd say it's there. But it has this piece right here, but it is missing this piece up here. I believe when I looked, it goes up underneath of this. So I'll have to double check that and verify that. But mine is missing that. So you learn something new every day. And mine is missing that. And then uh, also, I want to show the hood latch. My hood latch came in. I want to thank our buddy in New Jersey. It's a huge help. And, uh, you know, this will make it nice. And now we can locate our hood hinges. And... Uh, Get them here soon i hope i want to find them my goal is to get everything so the hood will open and shut and so our doors will open and close and then we'll worry about the trunk a little bit last because again that'll tie in with getting the quarter panels the fins and all that so you know it'll be a little while before we worry about that but i want right now to be able to get the hood to open and shut and to get the doors to open and shut now if you're wondering you're like well you don't have a body yet what are you going to do what are you going to do we do have a body that's in the behind the scenes there we'll just say so i do have a body it's not a 57 plymouth but you know we're we're working on that that's why we're going to do the bel air and we're using the bel air inner structure for all this and i will point out again i always say this we are not modifying these plymouth parts let me repeat that. We will not modify none of this stuff. Only thing that will be modified is strictly the Bel Air. And if you want to know why, because it's very important not to ruin these good parts. Very important. They are too hard to find, and you don't want to ruin good original parts. And I'd rather modify the Bel Air, and everything will be modified on the Bel Air. So the Bel Air will be modified to fit the Plymouth parts, if that makes sense. Because when it boils down to it is later down the road, if I ever have to, you know, God forbid, get another hood or something like that, then I'll be able to unbolt the hood and put another one on and go on down the road about it. That's the whole, you know, thing with this car. And I want to point out, these hood hinges are, I think I already talked about this, they are the Z the letter Z style hood hinges. And I say the letter Z because if you look at them, it's four bolts on each side. And the shape of this looks like the letter Z. If you were to cover that up. So it looks like the letter Z. So I wanted to point that out. And uh, I got to locate those. And I uh, haven't found those yet. But somebody tell me if these rivets right there are correct. Or somebody put them there. That's kind of interesting. I'm not sure on that. But I'm trying to, that's the whole goal is to get the hood to open and shut, get the doors to open and shut, 
And uh, when I say that is, what I mean by that is when we modify the Bel Air, when we put all this stuff on it, you know, our hood will open it up and shut, our doors will open it up and shut, it'll be functional. That's what I'm after, it'll be functional. And uh, I haven't decided on the door trim yet, but we'll get back to it. So enough of me blabbing here, and uh, let's get the hood latch. Alrighty, folks, so this is our hood latch here. And I just got this in from a good fella in New Jersey. I want to thank him so much. And I'll show another item I got as well. But uh, we'll go over this hood latch first real quick. But uh, these are really hard to find. It's nothing really too special about them. I mean, you could almost make one, really. But it's just a flat piece of steel there that's bent on the edges there. So probably the hardest part out of the whole thing is maybe making that hook. But this is the correct hood latch for this car. And I could not figure out how you open the hood. And I could not figure it out. And, you know, I'm still kind of up in the air about it. And I wish somebody, I need to get somebody to show me how to open the hood. I know how to open the hood, but I mean, I, what I mean by that is, is it up underneath the grill or is it up underneath the hood? It looks like it appears to be up underneath the hood. So, you know, you would pop the hood and, open it underneath the hood i was thinking uh you know you had to reach behind the grill to open it that's what i was thinking but it looks like it's underneath the hood there so it would be a lot longer if you had to reach underneath the grill the only reason i'm saying that is my chevelle was like that you got to reach kind of underneath the grill to uh open the hood and i was just kind of curious about this learn about these cars as we go so this has four bolts right here and uh not a big deal this is a really nice one i really tickled with this this is this is awesome that's a very nice hood latch it'll shoot that thing will clean up very well so it'll be really good and uh these are the bolts to it it's just uh regular uh bolts here that's what they all look like I'll go on and sit them all down like this so that's what they look like and also they look like they are 5 sixteenths, I want to say, possibly quarter inch. So that's kind of small thread. I'm kind of surprised, but they just all go in here just like this. Nothing special. And third one. And there's fourth one. They just bulked up like that. And I'll show you all next how the hood hinge off. Or the latch bolt on pardon me all right so now before we do anything rather than thread these bolts in here what i'd like to do is take a, a thread chaser and go in there and clean these threads out really thoroughly before we even take and thread any of these in there because we do not want to mess up these bolts and we do not want to mess up our threads and our hood here so that's very 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 important take your time clean the threads out that way when you bolt it up you don't mess anything up this stuff is too rare and too hard to uh risk trying to mess things up and uh the hood latch it goes on just like this it just sits on here nothing special and then you got four bolts and i'm not gonna thread them in there Maybe just a half a thread, something there you go. You know, because I got to clean the threads out and I don't want to mess them up. I just, you know, doing this to help y'all out there so that y'all can figure out, you know, how this hood latch is and you're not pulling your hair out like I was. Because I had a heck of a time trying to find good photos of this and how this looks. So that's how that's supposed to go on there. And we'll come back here. That's how it's supposed to be. And then when you open the hood, it's nothing really special. It is no cable or anything like that underneath the dash that you got to pull out like on any other kind of car. This one is just, you know, pop the hood and that's it. So uh, kind of ignore the part where I mentioned earlier on the video there where you had to, I was thinking you had to reach up behind the grill to open the hood. That's not the case with this car. See, I'm learning as I go and I'm showing the mistakes. I'm not perfect. But I wanted to show this because this is very important and to help future 
Plymouth owners out there, you know, just like me, I'm trying to build a 57 Plymouth here, just a plain Jane one. And uh, even just, you know, folks out there just messing with these cars in general. You know, I hope this video helps, but this is, you know, to help y'all and to make sure and verify, 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 you know, that it is the correct part. So that is off, you know, the correct uh, car there. It's off of 57 Plymouth and uh, I think it's off of Plaza, but that shouldn't really matter. You know, 57 and 58 hood, upper uh, hood latches are the same. Now, the hood latch on a 59 and above is completely different you cannot use them 57 and 58 are the only two years you can interchange stuff like this now your hood is the same i'm still thinking this molding is a little bit different i'm questioning that but all uh, this video is not really about that but i also want to point out too this is very important very important i do not have it yet but there is also another piece that is the lower part of the hood latch and I will uh, I have that on the way as well and uh, I'll have to show that but also there's two pieces two pieces to be able to make this hood open and shut and that's extremely important that is the upper one right there that's very important and there also is a lower that mounts to our radiator support and then it also ties in down there at the lower part. That's very important. You got to have that as well. So it's actually three pieces, three pieces. It's a brace that goes from the top of this. And I had to find out and verify if these are different from a 57 Coronet to a 57 Plymouth. I don't know yet on that, but I don't think it, it should be a big deal. This could be easily made and we could also, you know, we could figure something out about that. But I do not know yet if these are different. They probably are. I'm thinking they are because on a cornet, it wraps. It has the hitter paint on front of the hood there. That's what I call it. They are different. But the radiator support and the inner fenders are the same. And uh, so you also, you know, got to keep in mind, I believe they are different. And then you have a brace that bolts on top of this and goes underneath the hood latch. And then the hood latch bolts to there and has two bolts on the radiator support. It's very important because that's everything you need to make this hood open and shut. Also need the hood hinges, but we'll work on that. And I also wanted to point out too, and I knew, I knew this hood latch... I knew it had that piece on there like that, so I knew there was a reason for that. And I remember, so they, I was right, folks. It's got this little piece right here, and that hole in that hood, that's what that's for. That's what that's for right there, remember? I was talking about that, and uh, I was right. There, that's what that's for. And that has to go through that hole. So anyway, I wanted to point that out too. And uh, that pretty much wraps up our hood latch there. I'm going to have a video on the lower part as well. And I really hope this helps. So now we're going to transition here into the fun part of the video. All right, so one last thing before we get to the fun part of the video here. And I want to take this to the next level because this is what my channel is always about. Let's take it to the next level. I'm going to give you all some more details on this. And this will help even more. Okay, so I got our hood latch here. I know y'all looked at the ground, I apologize, but here's our hood latch. And we're gonna go ahead and measure it. And we have about, the old just thick steel here. There we go. At about six and a quarter. So we got about six and a quarter, roughly. And uh, check the other side here. I'm going to measure it like this. Right here we got about, what, six and an eighth, roughly. Let's hold this thing straight, about six and an eighth, probably. And then also, you know, if you want to take some screenshots here, I'm here, I'll hold the back, get my hand out of the way. So that way you can see a good close-up of it. So there's that side right there. And uh, there you go, I'll center it up for y'all a little bit better, so it looks a little better. So there's that side, here's this side. Here I'd show that. 
and then also we got four bolt holes that show that there's the lip right there go back just a little bit let me get my hand out of the way so there's all that and then that's also this is the hood uh, opener right there it's got a little overspray on it that's why it's red it's not a big deal but i want to uh make this this video here and this was kind of very important so we get this to there we go focus a little bit this is the other side as well I'll jazz y'all. I'm trying to get good close ups of this. All right. Get my hand out of the way. But of course, got a shadow. But I wanted to uh, show this here, and here's our width. We got roughly about eh, a little over three and a half on this side. And that is the side. So I'm measuring right here over three and a half and then the other side come straight down this is how i'm holding the hood latch just like that and you got you got a little angle right here too on both sides so keep that in mind as well there's the angle right there so keep this in mind there and then we also have about eh, about three and a half roughly so i figure i'd show this and uh, i want to take this step further and there is two springs on here as well and here is the first one right here this is how this connects so it can ties in up here you can see let me get this try to get it better let's do something a little better there we go apologize y'all get this in the light okay so that's how this one hooks it's up under then comes around on this side right there and it also goes in right here on this side. So I'll come around so y'all can see it. So it goes to that little hole right there. And that's how it hooks right there. So also, if you're miss 